Today I'm going to show you how to deploy the Node.js with the Hiroku. So this is in Visual Studio Code. I have Node.js application right here. It is a simple one. So we have the app.js inside of source folder. We have the package.json that have express dependency. We yeah, we work with express. And this is just a simple application. And then we have bring public folder static that have the HTML inside. All right, so let's run it inside our local host. So not much. Yes. Now we need to test it inside our local host. So right now, if I do the refresh, you can see right here we have route JSON and simple route how to deploy the Node.js with the Heroku. All right, so. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to create an account in Heroku. If you don't have one, go ahead and create an account in Heroku. And it's free, it's completely free. And there has also some like version for like you want to pay for it as well. Then also you have to download uh, Heroku CLI. And if you want that, just go ahead and download and install. Window, install as well and just click next 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 when you install and after that after installation you can check the Heroku version you can do Heroku dash V so then it will give you the Heroku version of it all right so this is the Heroku version CLI after you've done installation all right so let's get started let's see how we can um, deploy it. So the first thing that we need to do is to chain our port number. So this is by default, this is port 3000, but when we host to the Heroku, there's no port 3000. We will do a, a test error port. So what we need to do is to create a Graalbox port equal to process dot we dot port and or like the, the environment port or by default is 3000 we save this one and we change this one to port and this one we want to add the port as well right so right now let's run the see if we do it okay inside our local host Yeah, everything is fine. It's run for 3000. If we refresh, yeah, everything is okay. Then, so what we need to do next is to uh, chain script JSON here. So, you want to go to script here and chain some everything here. Delete it. And then, you want to add some start that you want to get that's going to add the node as OC app source folder and then app.js. Yes, so you need to chain this to. You need to chain it. And. Alright, so this is it. So after that, what we need to do next is to get in the. We want to push everything from our server to inside of GitHub. So we do git init. So now we have everything here. So what we want to do if we want to deploy, we don't want to send our node module. It's yeah, we don't want it. So we have all of the, the package JSON, the dependency that we need to install. So we don't want to send a note module to it. So what we need to do is to create the app the um uh, dot get ignore. And inside get ignore here, we want we don't want to note module to send. So what we can do is to note modules. And then slash save and all right wait so what we need to do is get status we want to see which all right so this is our node module that we don't want to send mm, wait so oh, we need to put it inside the server so then it will know which module that we don't want to send so it's right now we need you can see right here we don't send we could not go into and the node module to it. So what we need to do is get add. We want to get that everything and get commit dash m at 
four of the power. All right. So we need to, uh, after that, what we need to do is to go to GitHub and create a new repository. So uh, here in GitHub, so if you don't have an account, go ahead and create one account. If already, you can click new and create a new repository. And what we need to do next is, you can see right here, so we already have repository, so we want to to get remote here. To copy this line, go right here, paste right in. And what we need to do next is to push, to copy one more, and then we go ahead and push it. Right, so now, push it, and then if we refresh, you can see all the file is in GitHub right here. Alright, so next what we need to do is to connect it to, to the Heroku. What you need to do is to go to Heroku and log in. Alright, so you need to, actually in here you can use any key on hit space. So then it will uh, show you the, uh, the account that like, you need to log in and just click on log in. If you already have an account, I just open it in my Chrome and we do log in. Alright, so I already log in so it doesn't show me anything so in here. So I already log in so then what we need to do is next is to Get uh no hero cool um hero cool at uh key at so then it will need the SSH key from your account like your GitHub account you use it with SSH so that would take a moment to install all right so now here if you hit yes so probably right now you Oh, um, you don't have yet, so you click, can click yes, why, and I already done it, so I will click no. So what we can do next is to do get remote. Uh, all right, so okay, so then what we need to do, we can see we have Arjun. So what we want to do is to create a the hero crew account of the our dependency that we want to deploy. So we can hit the hero. Heroku create. Uh, let's see. Note deploy testing. All right, so you can call this whatever you want. I call it note deploy testing. So now it's create. It's for me and it's numbers. Start with a letter and end with the digit. Can only contain a digit number slash. All right, so maybe what we can do is. I want to change the name is to my name, so hang dot node dot deploy. I think that should be fine. So now, all right. So now everything is okay. If we hit this link, we can control click, and you can see we do not have nothing. So then we want to push our code to this GitHub of Heroku right here. So what we can do is to go to Git. We do remote here. Get remote. Then we will see we have two options. We have Heroku and we have Origin. So we want to push to Heroku. So what we're going to do, we get push Heroku. And then we do master. All right, so now I push to the Heroku and then it will build everything and what we need. Alright, so now I push to Heroku. If you can refresh this page, you will see this is up. So now you can navigate and share this link to anyone you want. Alright, so right now I'm just copy it and paste it to Chrome. Which you can see right now. There you go. This is how we deploy the Node.js with Heroku. Alright, so if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. And alright, so